Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. Last year was a tough one. The cost of borrow money went up, your investments went down, inflation remains in a recession Maybe lurking. Are we getting closer to the end of this economic cycle of pain or will the new year be a lot like the old year for you and your money? Joining us to better understand the financial forecast for 2023 is the founder, managing partner and chief investment officer of the Bonson Group, David Bonson. Welcome to you, Mr. Bonson. Thank you for joining us. Do you think things will get better or worse or both in the new year? The answer is probably both, Trey. I think that there will be certain elements that improve. I certainly think inflation will be coming down versus the high levels of last year. And there's a lot of areas that could get much worse. And that's sort of the problem with an economy that's unstable like this. It's legitimate that there's conflicting data. I try not to politicize it. Even as a guy who's kind of on the right, I don't look for negative things in the economy just because there's a Democrat in the White House or what have you. The fact of the matter is that there's data that tells us that they're trying to create a recession at the Federal Reserve as a way of dealing with inflation. I think it's totally misguided. And that was, and, and look, my background's in law, not, not economics. So if I don't ask you the right question, just, just answer the one I should have asked you. But is a recession a necessary prerequisite to a recovery or can it be avoided? Um, it can be avoided. And those who believe a recession is necessary to deal with inflation don't understand inflation. Oftentimes, a recession does come in and bring things down so much, make the economy so bad that the last thing we're worried about is higher prices. But in this case, Trey, we had a problem in the economy because they shut the economy down. The lockdowns and at the COVID moment, we lost the ability in our country to produce new goods and services. Then, of course, the country reopened, thank God, and people went back to their normal lives. But the goods and services were not there to keep up with the demand and it created inflation. Now, going forward, I think that if interest rates get high enough, you could end up with some sort of recession. But right now, jobs look OK. Manufacturing's coming down. That's what I mean. There's both good and bad. Energy is the thing I'd be looking to. Energy prices, they've manipulated them back down by releasing so much from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. The White House has brought down the SPR to the lowest level since the early 1980s. They have to fill that back up. And if we see oil prices come back up, it's a different ballgame. All right, let me try to anticipate what I think some viewers at home may be wondering. We'll start with the housing market. Do you do you expect that to that looks like it's on a little bit of a descent? Do you expect that to continue or or rebound? I expect it to continue, and I say that as a good thing. I have never accepted the view that permanently rising high prices is a good thing, that housing that becomes unaffordable is a good thing. I think housing went up way too much in 2020 and 2021, and for it to come down a bit, somewhere between 10 and 20 percent, I think that would be healthy. I want young people of good income and means and credit to be able to buy a home. It became unaffordable. So I do think housing prices are going to come lower, but I don't see that as a negative. For folks that are watching tonight and are wondering, okay, what do I do with any leftover money? I mean, the stock market looks like a roller coaster ride. I'm not getting much interest when I put it in a savings account. Do I, do I bury it in the backyard? What do I do with it? Well, burying it in the backyard is distinctly against my religion. New Testament teaching is quite clear. We're not to bury our money, so we should invest it. Stock market's not a roller coaster if it's properly invested in, if there's a long-term ability and, and smart, prudent investing. But I do think that there has to be an understanding that investing is risk-taking and that risk taking is good in the American economy, that we want entrepreneurialism, we want to invest in good companies, we have to recover in appreciation for that. But ultimately, there is a lot of instability in the economy. Sometimes those can be very good times to invest, Trey. Mr. Bonson, thank you for loaning us your expertise, especially on a Sunday night. Look forward to visiting with you again real soon, I hope. Thank you so much.